Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how you can fix Valorant not opening. Alright, so let's begin with the video. First of all, close down every instance of Valorant. What you're going to do is you're going to open up the hidden apps icon at the bottom and exit Vanguard. Once you've done that, right-click on the taskbar and open Task Manager. Now go to the Details section and look for something like Valorant or Riot Games. If you see anything, click on it and then click on End Task. If you've done that, you can close this down. After that, right-click on Valorant, go to Open File Location, then go to Riot Games. Inside it, go to Valorant, go to Live, go to Shooter Game, go to Binaries, and then scroll down till you have Valorant Win 64 shipping. Now, right-click on it, select Properties, go to Compatibility and click on Disable Full Screen Optimizations. After that, click on Apply and then OK. So the next thing we're going to do is search for services. Inside it, press the V key and we're going to look for VGC. So, double-click on it and open the Startup Type menu. Change it from Manual to Automatic, click on Apply and then click on Start. When it's loaded, you can click on OK and close it down. Now we're going to search for MSC Config. Once it's opened up, you can click on Services and search for VGC again. Once you find it, make sure that the box is ticked. But if it's unticked and you want to tick the box, click on it, then click on Apply, and then click on OK. Now we're going to press Windows and R keys at the same time and Run will be launched. Here we're going to type the following percent app data percent and press OK. Now in the top, click on App Data, go to Local, and you should search for Riot Games. Once you find it, open Riot Games, go to Riot Client, go to Data, and then here, we will have Riot Games Private Settings.yaml. So right-click on it, click on Rename, and write dot number one at the end. After that, save the changes and click Yes. Next, we're going to open Device Manager. For that, search for Device Manager, open it up, and then click on the drop-down menu beside Display Adapters. Here, go to your graphics card, right-click on it, and then click on Update Driver. Now click on Search Automatically for Drivers and make sure that the best drivers are installed. At this moment, we're going to search for Graphics Settings and open it up. So now you have to look where Valorant is installed and copy its path from the top. Now, paste it into the floating window and select Valorant. After selecting it, make sure it's on high performance mode and then click on save. Now close all of this down and then the last thing that we will do is right click on Valorant, go to properties, go to compatibility. And here if you have run this program as an administrator enabled, then disable it and then save it. Now the next thing, what you now have to do is you have to restart your PC and you'll be good to go. So that's basically how you can fix Valorant not opening, starting or launching. So that's all for this video. Consider subscribing if you find it helpful. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.